Welcome back to another episode of An Hour Max with Max. Yeah. And the quote of the day is, The secret to life is meaningless unless you discover it yourself. William Somerset Maugham. An English writer born in Paris, France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? How are everybody feeling? <clears throat> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> no shit. I'm happy for you. I'm happy with you. Of course. And as always, uh, I feel lit. That's how I'm feeling. I feel motivated. And I feel a little lucky. I'm feeling lucky. And I've been thinking about my future, my legacy, my goals. And, yeah, this Really out here, really out here with it, bare naked, all feelings, with a little thinking, you know, the day drinking too, too, you know, a little day drinking, man, that's how you get the ball rolling, caffeine, whack fiend, pour yourself some of this rum and get up. And I'm actually sipping on a monster. I put out these jeans today. I was looking around for some jeans to wear because, you know, it take me like 15 minutes to just find out what I want to wear because I got to build up from the socks. I'm double socked up. So I got to, so, you know, being a nigga that's double socked up, I got to, I got to fucking build around it. I got a great wall of China, this shit. I got to build around it, you know, because it keeps everything, it keeps everything together, like nuts and bolts. Um, So um, I look at these jeans, and they're a little bit longer on the length, so I don't really use them sometimes because they crinkle all up in my, you know, I'm doing the double sock thing, and, and I mean, pants like that was the reason I invented the double sock thing because the one sock you still see the little wrinkles you still see a little like what's going on you know can't really fold them bitches sometimes because then it uh, rubs up against your ankle but that's bullshit make it above your ankle anyway I digress so I put these jeans on and lo and behold a nigga found ten and it's so funny the way I found it too is because not only it, am I leveling up in magic and everything's coming through and everything's finally attracted and I feel like a goddamn magnet and everything is coming together one by one like puzzle pieces and I pull out something in my pocket and I'm like looking I'm like man I sit down because I think about like working out, but I'm like, nah, I'm gonna skip it there because I don't feel like doing that. I got, I want to do some other shit. Like I need to go find some, I need to go find this money. And all of a sudden, I I check in my pockets, and I pull out a crispy looking ten dollar bill that's hiding in one of those pockets. You know those pockets that like, <clears throat> that like fucking go uh, what's that shit? Where like goes to the side, like it just like creases to the side a little bit, and you're like, oh. I didn't even know I had anything in these pockets. And then he did the whole time. Yeah. That's that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I found that magic is mwah. It's going good, man. Just, ah. Yeah, money, man, money, man, money, man, money, man. That's how I be feeling. Um... Yeah, man, mentality's on one that well. Everything's all cool. Everything's all gravy. 
Um, hang on one second. Yeah, man, I got the had to go check in the living room. Cause I thought somebody was in the house. I thought like my sister was home or some shit. Cause I hear like scratching noises. I thought she was like being a weirdo, like she is. <laughs> and uh, also, I had to check too because uh, I've been watching a lot of horror movies, and uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to be snuck up on by no ghosts. Ain't no ghost gonna come up in here and rub my pockets. Because just like their souls, it's empty. Aside from that tent I got that I had to bust down on a fucking, on a monster can. Monster don't even pay me to drink this. I drink it because I like it. Can you believe that shit? Monster. Not only is it bad for you, it's also good. Believe that. This has been a sponsor. Mm -mm -mm. One day they'll make a Monster Max. And uh, I'll co-sign on that. I'll do my little fancy double X signature. You should see this double X signature I got. I'm going to start practicing this so I can do it in a couple strokes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A couple strokes. I mean, it's like a, it's like an upside down V on top of a right side down V, but drawn on top of each other. There's some type of insignia or something like that. It's like an insignia, but it's not. It's like a branding, but it's not. Cause it's a lifestyle. You know, sometimes you just gotta push it to the limit. You gotta go that extra mile. You got to do the unnecessaries to make it necessary. You got to do the behind the scenes work before it's seen work. You got to push it to the max. And that extra X stands for the extra limit to push. Yeah, see? See, that's some shit right there. That's some shit. I'm gonna do a movie. I'm gonna do a movie, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like fucking, um, like Eminem did Eight Mile. It's gonna be very, 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 very biographical. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna showcase my life. And. Yeah, I'll just get some hot bitch to play my bounce back chick and um how lucky is how lucky is he? Fair name. What's your name? Fair name. She died a while ago. <coughs> she was on eight miles, she's uh the chick, she's the chick. You know the chick. The chick. The chick who's on the thing, the thing of the thing. Hang on. A mile cast. I know anyone out there probably you know Brittany Murphy. Boom. Brittany Murphy. She's so fine. If she was still alive, I would have her play. I would have her play my the exact same role she played. You know. Be my bounce back chick, be all cool, mysterious, bring out my confidence, and sleep with my friend. Ish, my friend ish, cause like an ish friend, like a like an acquaintance, acquaintish, <laughs> acquaintish. Um, yeah, this is my acquaintish friends. What kind of what kind of acquaintances? He's just in our circle. I never really asked him. I just assumed he was. Loki, I don't even remember. I think he was always here. I don't think I ever talked to him. I thought it was a, 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 a hallucinated delusion I was seeing. I thought, I thought I was just I was just like some some spirit, and I had that Sarah Michelle Geller. I mean, I had that I had that I had that I had that mystery machine lights on. The headlights were on, but nobody was home. Time I was like, <laughs> you know. 
maybe I'm chilling, maybe I'm tripping. It didn't matter. But Yeah. <coughs> and then I and then I went. Then I went at the shelter. And then I gotta go back to work like he did. So what are you doing after this? I gotta go back to work. Fucking love eight miles. Fucking definitely need a movie based on my life where I was just doing all my shit and I could just have some character to play it off. Or even like make eight mile like a TV show. And I just like act it's like I'm playing the main character. It's based on me and I'm playing the main character. It's basically just me re re this is me re imitating life. <laughs> re imitating. I don't even know if that's a fucking word. But oh you know it's another dope fucking movie. John Q. John Q. Oh, John, John Q. Denzel Washington plays John Q. Dude, never have I ever seen a movie that made me cry so fucking much. I felt like I cried 10 to 11, maybe even 12 times. We don't say twelve. We go straight to thirteen. But it was probably thirteen times. Like I swear to God, I put that on. I put that on. And it is like you gotta believe it has some tough competition up there. Like my top, like I don't even remember what the the other top three was. I think my I had like I had like two or three movies. First two that comes off. Off top is uh, Fox and the Hound. See that movie anytime. I cry, bro. Fox and the Hound sad. Fox and the Hound are my best friends. I mean, you got the fox, you know, and you got the hound, and you know, they're different. And, like, society is like, like the fox and the hound become best friends. What a fucking, what a fucking movie, bro. Fox and the Hound is so fucking gravy. And um, the other movie is uh, we'll jump from a kids movie all the way to Blow with Johnny Depp. Now Blow made me cry a few times because dude, like this man just wanted to make a little moolah, and he just kept being fucked over time and time and time again. And so that's not me, baby. Hey, Judge, that's not me, baby. You know, <laughs> dude, like, he was a good guy. It's just in like the first scene uh, with his mom, oh no, his wife, dies. Uh, the first wife, and the second scene is mom. And the third scene is like, uh, girl, and then the rest, of it, and then the ending, and then he's the last job, and then uh, sons, tears, but move over, both of y'all, like. Cause now there's a new number one. It's called Jonathan Motherfucking Q. Oh wait, wait, no, it's actually no. This is called John Q. This is called John Q. Now Q's not even his last name. He goes by that's his middle name. Cause he does some shit. He's like John, John what? John Q. Oh man, what a, if you haven't seen that movie, you gotta go watch it. Denzel does some of his best work. Dude, I don't even know what I was crying for. I, I, dude, like, the kid, oh, the kid was so cool. Like, the kid was cool. It was like him. It's like Denzel's his dad, and he has the mom, and then, like, they have a kid, and, like, the dad's like, you know, it's hard to make money, you know. Like, it was, it was, it was, it was, like, it was a struggle. Cause, like, he was working a lot, but then they had to cut hours. So now he's only doing, like, 20 hours. And it's like, he's like, they come and take his car. I mean, uh, his wife's car. Then they have an argument. And he's like, it was either the car or the house. And then, like, going back and forth about it. And the kid comes out. The kid's all cool. The kid's all fucking tight. And then wrestling. And when he dropped the kid off in the morning, you know, like, the kid was like, hey, man, you know, I saved up, like, 40 bucks. Like, from the allowances you be giving me, if you, you guys could use it, you know, because, like, we're a family, we got to sit together, and, like, here with the mom and the dad, they're all, like, all happy and shit, yada, yada, blah, blah, et cetera, et cetera, and, um, yeah, there's, like, a little league game, you know, after you develop all this feelings, and it's, like, this kid gets, like, he's just, like, he, he finally, he, like, gets a base hit, he's running, it's about to turn into a home run, because the other kids don't know what the fuck they're doing, 
And so he's like, run, run. And he's running. And then like he just collapses. And like, I mean, this kid's like a first grader, kindergartner. I don't know, something like that. And like, he just collapsed. And yeah, he had like an enlarged heart. And, you know, they have no insurance and all this shit. And it's costing too much. And then, yeah, man, the dad, Denzel, a.k.a. John Q, has to do something about it. And he couldn't be flaky this time because it's his son. And, the, yeah, man, I cried so many times. Like, I wish it was a, a cryometer. I needed a cryo. I need, <laughs> I needed a cryometer. They need those. In these type of movies, my chronometer was at least three. It was about like ten. It was a two-hour movie. It was like about two-hour movie. It was, I'm going at least at five cries an hour on my chronometer. I'm going five cries an hour for two hours. That's ten. How many cries is that? That's ten cries on the chronometer. <laughs> Oh man, that is hilarious! But I cried the whole time. It's probably the most I've ever cried in one movie. It's the best sad dad son movie of all time. Facts, one thousand percent, one hundred. There's a certain part in the movie when uh, he's going to um. To apply for like an extra job for like a second job, he he has to get the car back. He like works in like the mines or some shit like that or does something. And um, so he's looking for a second job, and uh, they tell him he's over qualified. That's the job that's less than, you know, a job that's like, like whatever. Like say I was like a fucking chef, right, a world class chef, and all of a sudden times is dire, and. Uh, I need to go to Taco Bell. And they see my resume. They see I've worked all over at these the best of the best of the best of the best of the best places in the world. Intercontinentally. Internationally. <laughs> and um they say you're overqualified, you can't work here, sorry, no. Like what? And what world do we live in where you could be too good at something that you can't imagine that for like sports or something like oh shit you average 50 points a game and 30 assists and you've been playing with grown niggas your whole life yeah i think you're overqualified can't have you can't have you can't have you that's a bullshit philosophy Another thing that, like, like uh, another thing is, uh, LeBron James can't have a break because he ain't going to the NBA Finals. One team away, probably could have blown the, probably could have blown Miami or battled Boston and gave the world what they wanted, but no, nah. yeah. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. Couldn't do that. I wonder why. Didn't have, didn't have AD when we needed him. We had him, but we didn't do it. I understand you'd be a superstar in today's game and only put up like, like eleven points, like eleven shots. Like my nigga, I put up eleven shots in one quarter, and that's just me. I was doing that even when I used to come off the bench, when I was playing them garbage time minutes. You know, like. Like, this is, you know, like, when I was, like, a sophomore-ish. And, I, cause like, I was playing, like, practicing with JV. And we were in, like, varsity tournaments and shit like that. So, I was, like, when I played the garbage man minutes, I would still drop, like, six points, two steals, two boards, and then an assist. Which, how I, that's how I made my way up. Moved my way on. Moved my, moved my seats up. And it's, like, dude, how you only put up. A and and our games were shorter, like how you put up eight shots, like, and it goes back to like, 
like LeBron was actually doing it. LeBron had thirty and one half. LeBron had Le- LeBron had LeBron drives. He was doing it. He was driving. Came down to the last possession though. I personally think he should have went for a three. Should have went for the three. Would have brought down the fucking house. Should have should have shot a three. But he went with a drive and. Jamal Murray played perfect defense, got his hands all on that ball. So LeBron James' big ass fucking train of a fucking bicep couldn't lift it all the way up like he wanted. And then he still somehow got the ball up into the air into the rim to give it a possibility. But right when it was in the air, got swatted a little bit, changed the tail spin of the ball, and didn't hit anything. And that was good night. Goodbye and good riddance to the Lake Show. So, what do we got to say to that? Congratulations, Denver. But, you know what LeBron James had to say to that? He was upset. The Lakers got swept. And he's contemplating retirement. Mm hmm. Possibly leaving the Lake Show. Don't do that. How many more teams can you go through, LeBron? How many more teams can you go through, LeBron? How much help is too much help? Before it's on yourself. LeBron. You're LeBron. LeBron. You're LeBron. Um, I doubt it that he'll leave. I mean, I don't know about leaving. I mean, that's what he does. I don't really give a shit. Give us Damian Lillard or some shit. <laughs> give us Luca. Um, uh, yeah, give us Luca. Luca and AD could just run some sick fucking pick and rolls on six off and off ball screens, and yeah, let's do that. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I doubt he's gonna be retiring though, cause he still has enough time to go play with his son. He wants to play with his son. I mean, this would be his twentieth, no, twenty first year. I think he got another four years. I think he can go 25 years. That's enough time to play with his son. Uh, his son gets in the league, then he can make some moves, get traded to other guys, the other person's team for the last two years, and then be able to play with his son at, like, a decent level, you know, and still be, like, highly effective. I can see that. That'd be hella tight. Maybe he'll end up coaching them. Uh, right. You know, maybe you know, we can't leave the game entirely like Tom Brady. But for me, I'll keep going on. Coming out of retirement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. At least you get to come out of something. I mean, Michael Jackson's dead, but his hologram still has residency in Las Vegas. You notice that? He. He's in Las Vegas, doing shows almost every day, twice a day. He's in Las Vegas right now. He's in Las Vegas right now. You can go see the hologram right now. If you're really gonna go see the hologram, you can go see the hologram. He's in Vegas. It's a circle de soleil. Cirque de soleil. Cirque de soleil. Go check it out. Get some good seats. You know, they don't got to pay this man a thing, bro. Go see him. Um, I don't know, man. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa, see? <coughs> see, you snug up on. Wow. Wow. <coughs> I need me a cough button like Joe Rogan does. It's like, I need me a button I can just push when I'm about to cough. Jeez Louise. 
That was the Lord saying, don't mess with MJ. But I still do. I do it a like on this podcast. So guide your way out of this fucking conversation. <laughs> ain't for you. <laughs> if it ain't for you. Uh Paris Hilton's dog. How did you go? How did you go, bitch? Has passed away at age twenty-three. How do? How did you go, bitch? Last name bitch. First name How did you go? Spelled hella Japanese. Has passed away. Paris Hilton's dog, yeah. 23 years. 23. I wonder what that is in dog years. I think it's a long time. 23 years in human years. Dog years. It's like, I thought it was old as fuck. Like, fuck. It died at 23 in 2023. What is this? This is, I think this was that little dog, little Pomeranian looking dog she had on a. she had on motherfucking, um, <clears throat> what was it? What was it? Uh, Simple Life with her and Nicole Richie. Yeah, her and Nicole Richie. Nicole Richie was fire. Her and Nicole Richie were fire. I didn't even know what White Valley Girls were. I think that was my first impression of Valley Girls. And I was like, oh my God. How dumb can these hoes get and then I realized oh my gosh I'm one of them I'm one of them I'm just a black male Regina George living the simple life with split personalities and one's Nicole Richie and one's Paris Hilton Betty Hilton (laughs) oh one night in Paris you ever see that the sex tape with her and night vision yeah don't think it's legal how they obtained it and then sold it I think it was considered revenge porn but either way it was nice I think it was her personal spin on uh, on the (coughs) the Kim Kardashian one Kim Kardashian's sex tape. She was like, you know what? I'm going to drop my own. I'm going to drop my own mixtape. Huh? How about that? How about that? I'm going to drop my own mixtape. Then we'll see who's the real. Who's the real camcorder princess when it comes to this sucking and fucking. Love it. I love it. I love it. You know, I love it. Hey, so how everybody feel about uh about fake nails or acrylic nails? How y'all feel about that? Acrylic nails are tight. I like acrylic nails. On women, it's just fucking beautiful. I love it so much. I don't understand why people don't do it more. I feel like to be it. A chick, you sh- this should be a requirement. It shouldn't even be a motherfucking question. It shouldn't even be an option. It should be something you gotta do. Now, I was watching this podcast. It's called, like, Whatever. Don't really watch it. They say clip. And, like, they say some obnoxious shit. It's one of those podcasts where they have, like, these dudes. There's, like, two dudes. And then it's like surrounded by like three or four women, five women. And uh, they basically just bash on the women the whole the whole damn time. Or they ask them some questions and then let the, the chicks can't even answer or the chicks will say something and then the guys will just shut it down. Like it'll be like, there's one where the girl's like, oh, so if this is about, if this is like if someone's getting abused, if someone's getting abused, they should leave the relationship. And then the guys are like, nah. <coughs> you gotta persevere through it. You gotta 
you got to persevere through and you got to fucking be loyal and you got to know it's just a phase. And then they totally avoided the question, totally deflected. And then um, it, then she was like, okay, what if the girl's cheating? And then the guy's like, oh, totally got divorced her. That's, that's totally, that's totally out of line. Like, yeah, so what if little Brandon over here just beats the shit out of his girlfriend every now and again when he's drunk? Like, you're over here cheating, sucking dick behind my back because I beat you? And won't you have a divorce? So, anyway, <clears throat> I'm watching that shit. And uh, then I see like, one of these clips. And I'll play it for you. Acrylic nails. Nails. Like long nails. Honestly, red flag, not gonna lie. <laughs> mm, but is it I something that flag. like bothers you? Like if you were talking to a girl every day here, would you be like, hey, like mm. those gotta go? Like not necessarily like mine, but maybe like as short as hers or whatever. Honestly, like the thing is Does it, the type of chicks to? that wear fake what? nails aren't interested in me. I'ma say it. <laughs> they just don't fuck with me. Like so it's not they fuck with me though. Cancel okay. cancels itself okay, never out. Mind then. But um because, I don't know, I feel like I definitely prefer, it, it's kind of, I don't Wait like the it. very, all the extra shit. Ryan, what if she's I, got I, shit, like, like crusty like, cuticles? Like, I mean, like, what if she's got, like, crusty cuticles, like, she doesn't get her nails done, she doesn't go, like, clean look, up her cuticles. Yeah. She bites her nails, nails to do like, maintenance and ew. Things. I want a chick that's ready for <gasps> a zombie apocalypse. Oh, fucking dweeb. Motherfucking lint liquor. Mother. What a geek ass jabroni. <coughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? He said, I want to check who's ready for the zombie apocalypse. Smoke break, smoke break, guys. I got a mind what I say. I don't want to call this guy something. <clears throat> Just shake it off. Just shake it off, guys. I mean, he's obviously a fucking idiot. Just shake it off. He says zombie apocalypse again. Smoke break, guys. He says zombie apocalypse. He really says zombie apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse. Can't believe that. Oh my gosh. Obviously, it's gonna be fucking robots. The apocalyptus. Dare. Zombies. Fucking thinking that's so 2000. That's such a 2000 and not base mindset. That's a 2000. That's you so 2000 and not based, bruh. It's obviously going to be AI versus aliens. Duh. <laughs> Man's living in 2000 and not based. <laughs> Fucking lose it. Fucking jabroni over here. Don't be a jabroni. Like that home, you know, like homie, what are you talking about? Do speak for yourself. All the bad bitches with long glittery nails all fuck with me, and I all, and I fuck with them. And um, yes, man. If if you don't have that, I do think it is a. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but it is a. Uh, it is a. Uh, it's. I'm gonna have to dock you. I'm gonna have to dock you. I'm gonna have to dock you. It's because I was looking at the comments, so I went to the comments to see if I had any like minded warriors on the same side as me. And nope, 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 nope. I mean, yeah, they are. It is his page, <clears throat> it is their page, and it is going to be like on their thoughts. I mean, it's going to be like their fan base. And I, yep, not a single goddamn individual was on my side. I had to go up in there and say a couple of things myself as Mr. Max, you know, I had to get up on there. 
and um, they're like, no one's ever, no one's ever in the history like looked at that chick and was like, oh, she don't have this and this and that. Let me, oh, let me see what her nails like. And it's like, oh, like, guys don't give a shit about makeup, the way they dress, or like your nails, man. Guys don't care about none of that shit. I'm like, uh huh, huh, huh. What do you mean? Speak for your fucking self. I fucking, I happen to be in love with shit like that. I actually prefer all of that. Know how to dress. Know how to, uh, what's that, accentuate your beauty. That's what makeup's supposed to do. It's supposed to take your your original looks and times two it. It's supposed to take what you what you got going for you and times two it for you. You know what I'm saying? Being dressed up, it always looks nice to be snazzy. It's always nice to be snazzy. You never know what you might, you never know might, what you might run into. It's always nice to look snazzy. It shows people that you care. And uh, nails, yeah. Decorate them puppies. Get your toes done, yeah. Get your head did. You know what I that's just a no-yeah, no, yeah. That's just a no yeah. I do, yes. More bitches need to listen to Missy Elliott and go do that. Please, please, bro. Like, I hate guys like that. Speaking for all of us, speak for your motherfucking self. I mean, goddamn, bro. I mean, goddamn. I mean, goddamn, but you know what I won't be? I won't be eaten by bed bugs. Like this Georgia man who was found dead in his infested jail cell. He died of good old fashioned severe neglect. Found out from an independent autopsy. Sean Thompson died in Fulton County Jail on September 13th, 2022. I'm pretty sure they didn't know. What the cause was, or they probably didn't go through the trial, or I don't know what the case was because this article was written May 22nd, 2023. LaShawn, LaShawn Thompson, the man whose family claimed was eaten alive by insects and bed bugs in the Fulton County Jail, died of complications due to severe neglect, according to an independent autopsy. Thompson's family spoke out in a press conference outside the Georgia State Capitol. On Monday, along with their attorneys, Ben Crump and Michael Harper, where they announced the results of the independent autopsy in which Thompson's manner of death is listed as homicide. Wow. Um, nothing to joke about, but damn. Yeah, so all in all, to sum everything up, he died of... The autopsy report came back and he had dehydration, malnutrition, severe body insect infestation, and untreated, compensated schizophrenia. Just tossed that bad boy in, huh? Just sprinkled it, sprinkled his physical ailments with a little mental disease. Hmm. Interesting. Um, just enough that bed bugs and mice sat there and ate my brother to death. See, they didn't eat him. They didn't eat. That mean they and they they definitely drained him. They're making it seem like he just like was eating. Like I'm just just painting weird pictures in my head. It's not painting the correct pictures. What I'm trying to say. That's crazy. Yeah, it just keeps going. That's hell long. I'm not reading that. It's my it's my show. We're not reading that. We're not reading all that bullshit. But anyway. Damn. Bed bugs. I've dealt with a fair share of bed bugs I picked up. And I never get them in my house. We don't get them. We don't get them anywhere that I like resided at. But I'll tell you where it was at. It's uh, hotels. It's always the hotels. Whenever you're at them hotels. They motherfucking, they say they wash the sheets, but they never do. They say they do, but they don't, though. And when they do, they don't do a good job at it. Like at all. 
So when I'm in there and I have a chick I wanna lay her down or I'm in there getting his eye till I desire because I'm trying to work on a couple uh, a couple songs with with my homies and shit and we are couple coming through you know everything's all good to go we all gravy and sometimes they don't wash your shins you know what I'm saying and so you wake up and you find those three little dots just on your fucking on like a weird it's like it's like in a row it's like you just tic tac toe your bloodstream you be like, oh shit, you got diag- you diagonally got me. One, two, three. And they each get like smaller and smaller. Like he like here. He's like, alright, let me go here. Oh yeah. Okay, let me go here. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah. Then leaves, it falls off. Bed bugs are fucking grotesque. They're disgusting as shit. I would never wish that upon even my wildest enemies. Bedbugs are just a nuisance. It's an unfair advantage. That's how you. That's how we should be fighting wars, actually. To shoot a bunch of fucking bedbugs at somebody. It's infest their whole fucking... It's like, drop a bunch of bedbugs. Just like, fly right over with a drone. Carrying nothing but bedbugs. Like, eggs and shit like that or whatever. Just drop them. Like, drop them. Drop it like it's hot. Let them seeds pop and watch them. Watch them get all tic tac toed out with them bad bug bites. Seep tight. I mean, think about it. It used to be a pandemic. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Huh? How much of a problem is it that you had to include it in the rhyme? Better yet. A sleepy time rhyme. Now I gotta worry about bed bugs. Like, it's like maybe the bed bugs hear that and they're like, oh shit, damn, what's wrong? Bed bug one said the bed bug two. It's it's not st- <clears throat> said bed bug two to bed bug one. Spit it out. Bed bug one said the bed bug two. It's like he's sleeping too tight. It's too tight. It's too tight. It's, it's too tight. Bed bug two to bed bug one. Bed bug one to bed bug two. What do you mean it's too tight? Bed bug two looks down. Bed bug one looks up. Both eyes meet. Shit. It's too tight. <laughs> sleep tight night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite good night sleep tight don't let the fucking werewolves maul your skin off your skeleton and the boogeyman doesn't rape your booty oh <coughs> without your consent huh hmm? hmm I said grape I said grape hope it doesn't grape don't get graped <clears throat> wow. Eight coughs. Eight coughs. Me coughed the whole time this morning and then eight coughs as soon as I got on the podcast. Wow. That's some that's some shit right there. New York City's finally sinking is drowning. <clears throat> Can't keep a secret for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. New York City is drowning. It is going down. It is sinking. It is slowly sinking. And it is increasingly vulnerable to natural disasters. According to the United States Geological Survey, it's worrying that the weight of the city skyscrapers is causing the Big Apple to sink, and that it faces significant challenges from flood hazard as sea levels rise. Yep, it's surrounding into the bodies of water. It's too heavy. New York, you managed to have so much bullshit going on that 
it's not, come on, it's too heavy. One, it could be purely scientific, which means, yeah, it's facts. Or two, you pissed off the Lord because there's so much evil going down in that Gotham City, Batmanless town you have, or state, city, or whatever. He's gonna get rid of the whole thing. He said, we're just gonna sink that thing. It's getting out of hand. Like, I don't know what New Orleans did, except have too much fun and shoot too many Steven Seagal movies, maybe. But hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Like, just sink it, start over. It's like a mini flood, but just for like a state. Like, I'm not, I mean, hey, I'm not advocating nothing. I'm just saying, maybe that's the case. Because that lays for show on that list. Callie's, and he might just do the whole Cali. But Cali's hella big. So I don't know. Could be LA and Long Beach. Because they, you know, alphabetically speaking, it could just get us both. But hey, I know we on that list. But at least we're going down together. You know? What a time to be alive in Central America. Tides are gonna tides are turning, no pun intended. Waves will be made. The Lord's <laughs> shall only save those who matter. Oh. New York's going down, down. New York's gonna land down. Oh uh, yeah, so either get rid of some people or knock down some buildings. That's all I gotta say. That's the only form of advice I could give you without stepping on toes. Man. So I was going through my emails looking for songs to post on. <sighs> ah, I gotta stretch. Looking for songs to post on IG, and man, I got some fucking forgotten gems. Songs I didn't even know I had. Songs that just keep getting like, like reproduced. Not re like not reproduced. Like they're like, I feel like reproduced means fucking. They keep on getting uh, they're still getting produced on. Like this one homie, homie Tim, engineer rapper dude. He uh. Who randomly just sent me like a new mix of a song, like of a song that we prior did, priorly you know we did we did a while ago, and it's hella nice, it's hella dope, and I got the ones with progress, it's hella dope. Um, I don't know which one I'm gonna pick. Today. I think I know what one I'm gonna pick today. I might have to, I might have to shoot something to it, but uh, it's fucking, it's gonna be nice. So I'm getting distracted. Fucking neighbors upstairs just making like a hella like random ass like noises. Like when I say noises, like whatever you heard in your head when I said the word noises, that's what they're doing. It's hilarious. It's funny. I don't know if it's intentional or not intentional. I'm a narcissist. I think everything's intentional. I think when it rains and I get wet, I feel like God hates me. Like, if I spill something on myself, like if I'm drinking water and then I spill it on myself, I'm thinking I'm flawed, I'm wrong, I was made differently, I am full of bad luck. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, a lot of good music, a lot of good music. I'm, uh, I'm going to post one or two, post something in the day for sure while this is uploading since YouTube wants to take forever, a day and a half. takes so long sometimes for this shit to be posted or uploaded. But the, it takes like 10 minutes, 5 minutes the most, the max, to uh, to make these videos, to like actually, you know, put in like a little thing because I don't have visual right now, so I don't have to worry about like doing too much all you gotta do is just upload it blah 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 put it up there you know get it get it up and get it out so you guys could always catch a glimpse and be up to date on what's going on here on the road to a million and chilling like a motherfucking comic villain as we get to that stage in life you're gonna see me be this right here just like whatever 
empty pocket pockets on dust bunnies and you're gonna see the rise of a motherfucker named Max become fucking making millions chilling like a motherfucking comic villain type status and it's gonna be cool it's gonna be great y'all all welcome you're all welcome to help and maybe I can help y'all back with something whatever I could do I mean I ain't got nothing I'll be an- I'll be answering emails and my fucking comments like goddamn Bruce Almighty, you know, you know that scene where he had the uh, where he guys like he gets all the prayers on like an email type fashion. He has to answer them. That'll be me answering prayers. Let me be your Bruce Almighty. I could do this. Believe believe that. Believe that. Um. Go check out that 30 minutes or less if you haven't believed that yet. Go believe that now. Uh, <laughs> um, Attack of the Killer Donuts, like I said, YouTube's being a little fickle, a little biatch, a little biznitch because uh, it's not letting me upload. It's taking forever. So I'm going to have to have to put up the upload, and then when it's taking forever after fucking put this exact same upload up again and then it catches up and then the second one beats the first one and then you're like what the fuck how is the fucking second one being the first one and then it does it again and they gotta fucking do a third one and then the third one starts being both of them and then delete the first two and then all of a sudden it's there it is but when I did my longest podcast uh, the two two podcasts ago it's like it uploaded in like fucking like ten minutes same scenario it was Wi-Fi from here or the stash speaking of the stash tomorrow's comedy night I'm gonna show up there see what's up show support oh uh, yeah man check out the 30 minutes it should be Attack of the Killer Donuts so do or do not <laughs> click on that video check it out let me know what you think it's me in progress if you're not familiar with 30 minutes or less, we watch a movie. We talk our shit. We catch up because this nigga's in Texas now. We banter and we watch some movies. We talk our shit. And then if we like it, we fucking give you 15 minutes of our leftovers. If we don't like it, it is what it is. Um, Eventually, there's going to be a, a visual thing where we can watch the movie with us while me and him both are on the screen. But for now, it's just me and him, and hopefully the audio from the fucking uh, the movie. But we do our best. It's great. It's nice. Check it out. I love it. It's interesting. A lot of horror movies. It's all the movies we watched so far is on Tubi, so it's easily accessible for everybody out there. Because paying for shit sucks. So why not save a couple bucks to be or not to be? I'll see you over there. Um, nothing for nothing EP still in the works. I got songs coming in and out every day. Um, your boys out here like Sylvester Stallone and Rocky. I'm out here beating up carcasses of meat every day. I'm 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 getting my shit together. My shit's getting tight again, just like it was last summer. So I'm getting my shit tight. I'm in the lab again. I uh, everything's cool. I got I I got I got I got I got music on the way. So. Check that shit out. I'll be dropping when it drops. Nothing for nothing EP. Subscribe, follow, share. Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'll be appreciated. Give this video a like. Share it with somebody. Subscribe, watch it, do whatever. If not, I don't really give a fuck. Honestly, I may end up telling motherfuckers what to do. I never has, never has, never has been, never have been, and never will been. <laughs> so do whatever the fuck you like. Um, this is cool. We got over. We 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 got over that hill. We got to. We got to just do this thing again. I'm about to. What am I gonna do today? What am I gonna do today? Besides upload this shit, finish watching this movie that me and Progress were doing for a thirty. And uh, oh yeah, we gotta do a fifteen a day. So. I'm going to finish watching this movie. There's no games on. Uh, Miami didn't close out on fucking Boston. forgot to say that. But I'll say it now. And, uh... I don't think there's anything happening today. 
I'm working on some music. I'm cleaning up this room. I'm going to chill for a second. I don't really, I'm really doing too much. I'm going to smoke this weed. I'll tell you that. I'm about to spark up this weed. I'm going to spark up this weed and brew. I'm going to spark it up by Pikachu. I guess I'm weed a chew. Call me weed a chew. Every time I sneeze, it's weed a chew. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting out of hand, man. Getting out of hand, man. Well, this has been nice. This has been fun. This has been chill. But I got to get up out of here. It's been nice beaching with y'all. Uh, yeah. See you when I see you. Peace.